This video is sponsored by Squarespace. What's going on guys? Vincent here from the dojo.net. Hope you guys are all doing well during these crazy uncertain times. Today we'll be covering some new things such as Cinema 4D S22, free plugins, color palettes, and a whole bunch of freebies. So first things up is Thick Strokes by Plugin Everything. It's a pretty much a free plugin for After Effects by Plugin Everything that allows you to create strokes within After Effects. But not just any type of strokes here. We're talking about tapered strokes, strokes with gradient support, um, variable width strokes. Um, this stuff is kind of coming to After Effects, the latest version of After Effects coming soon. It's currently in beta right now. Um, but this will allow you to pretty much do it in older versions of After Effects. And there are additional controls um, above the features that's gonna be built into After Effects. But basically you have like infinite control points using the Feather Vertex tool. You have support for butt and round cap styles, gradients along paths with multiple colors. You have full control over the trim paths controls, which can actually influence the width and color of your stroke. So a lot of cool features, free for After Effects, check it out. The next free plugin is also by Plugin Everything. They're creating awesome, cool stuff for you guys for After Effects, tons of free plugins. The next plugin is called FXAA Anti-Aliasing for After Effects. So basically it's a FXAA is an anti-aliasing algorithm created by NVIDIA. Um, it's pretty much one of the industry standards um, and basically how it works, it's, it's applied to your final rendered image rather than geometry because we're using After Effects here. And it bases the smoothing on the pixel data. So it's perfect for smoothing things out like jagged edges, things that you get when you're doing like motion trails and you know, really, really crazy movement stuff. Um, it's GPU accelerated, it's relatively fast, and of course it's free. So check it out over at AE Scripts by plugging everything. Now, if you've ever had a hard time trying to design and pick a color palette or color scheme for your projects, then this video by the Future Academy is gonna help you generate your own custom color schemes. Now, a lot of you guys go out there on Adobe Cooler or other sites like that and kind of just kind of pick up um, swatches and templates and stuff. It's great, I do that all the time. Um, this is a really methodical way of doing it though, and it's especially useful if you're kind of those kind of people that hop into Adobe Cooler and kind of do these kind of things. Um, I highly recommend watching this. It kind of, you know, goes through the process of creating your own color palette, um, some ways you can think about it, some ways to think of color differently. And it's just a cool way to create your own custom color palettes um, kind of in a methodical process. He uses Photoshop. You can pretty much use it with any other tool that allows for uh, image manipulation and color manipulation. I'll also have a tool coming out soon that will help with this color generation process in After Effects, so stay tuned. Labels by my buddy Render Tom has been really popular in After Effects lately. Um, it's pretty much featured in everyone's After Effects workspace. Everyone and their mom is rocking labels for After Effects. And now it's available in Premiere Pro. So you can easily set label colors and label groups for project items and clips. You can easily select items with the same label colors, add markers, and you can even import color label themes. Check it out now. It's a really nice way to kind of just organize all your assets. Um, I highly recommend this for Adobe Premiere as well as After Effects because it's a really nice way to just kind of manage all the colors. Um, the default label colors kind of suck. It should really just change those default color labels in After Effects in my opinion. So check it out, labels by RenderTom over at AE Scripts. So NAB 2020 was pretty interesting this year because everything was pretty much online as expected with what's going on in the world right now. Um, but basically Maxon is no different. They released all their videos recently on all their online NAB 2020 video presentations this year. And as always, there are some great presenters as is every year. Literally this stuff is a gold mine and you get to see pretty much how these top rated professionals in the industry work and their workflow process and their thought process pretty much for free. Um, so this is a huge, huge gold mine for you guys to watch, especially if you're into Cinema 4D and After Effects. Great stuff, popular tools. Um, so one of the great presenters, the famous Andrew Kimmer from Video Copilot was on. And he was pretty much teasing us with more Nebula 3D stuff as you you know, as you expected. Um, so if you're interested in learning more, a little sneak peek about Nebula 3D, check this recording out. This is part of day one. Um, there's no release date yet for Nebula as expected. Um, but he also breaks down how he created this really nice epic truck scene within Cinema 4D and After Effects. He kind of uses a little bit of Nebula 3D and, and Element 3D. Uh, but this is a cool breakdown from the famous Andrew Kramer. Of course, there were other amazing presenters out there. Daniel Hashimoto, AKA Hashi from Red Giant, also did a great, fantastic presentation. Um, he creates some giant monster and brings it all together in After Effects. Pretty cool stuff there. There are a ton of other amazing presenters like Brian Coleman, Stu Mashowitz, and many others. As always, links will be in the video description down below. Speaking of Maxon, they released Cinema 4D S22 recently for subscription users only. Um, so this is part of their subscription model with a lot of improvements. Um, UVs have gotten a lot of love recently with improved selection tools, a new automatic unwrap feature so you can unwrap UVs pretty easily. Um, a lot of other tools out there. I'm really excited about the viewport rendering improvements. A lot of things have been improved. Um, it's a lot faster now. It, it's more compatible with Metal for Mac OS users. 
and it shows a lot more fine detail now, a little bit better in cases of things like hair. So more fine detail is shown in the kind of viewport. So it looks more similar to your final render. It's faster now, it handles multiple instances better. You also now have a save and load viewport view settings, so you don't have to go around changing all these settings all the time. People wanna kind of, you know, have these preferred viewport um, shading methods and stuff like that. There are a lot of other things new in this release, so check it out on Maxon's site directly. Before we get into other news, I wanna give a quick thanks to our sponsor over at Squarespace for sponsoring today's video. Squarespace is the number one platform to create an amazing website, whether it's for your store, online business, or portfolio. They have amazing templates to choose from, fully customizable so you can make it the way you want it to look like without having any code and knowledge required. They have awesome 24-hour support, and best of all, if you use the promo code DOJO at checkout, you can actually save 10% off your order and support the DOJO, so check it out over at squarespace.com dojo. Squarespace, the number one place to create an amazing website. So next up, Film Riot slash Trident Digital released some free stock element assets for you guys. They are giving away 20 hot lava and green slime fluid bursts and 10 Mortal Kombat style blood bursts. So get chopping. Um, these are free assets, stock elements you can use. Pretty cool stuff. They have an amazing YouTube channel for filmmakers, so check them out. But I'm sure you guys already know that. This isn't actually new news, but if you're an AE Scripts user, you have a lot of tools from AE Scripts, freebie tools or paid tools, licensing and all that stuff. You might not know that they actually have a AE Scripts Manager app, which pretty much allows you to see all the apps that you purchased under your account. You can easily update them via your licensing and view a lot of other features related to your account and your product from AE Scripts. This is a great little tool just to kind of manage everything from the site. And they don't really do a great job at marketing this tool right here. So I feel like a lot of people don't really know about it, but this tool does exist. And it's separate from their AE Scripts ZXP installer for extension. So just FYI, but this is a pretty cool tool to kind of manage everything. The last bit of news here is that I released Dojo Glitch version 3. This is a completely rewritten from the ground up tool, pretty much that allows you to create nice digital glitches, artifacting, distortions, RGB split, chromatic aberration, flickering, all those great stuff within After Effects. It's a name your own price tool, so you don't have to necessarily pay for it to try it. Um, so it's name your own price, awesome tool. The result looks a lot better than version two and version one. So it's, this thing has been rewritten to give you a lot better results, a lot more chaotic, random, more natural results for Dojo Glitch. So if you wanna create glitches in After Effects, check out Dojo Glitch by creativedojo.net. Links will be in the video description down below. So that pretty much wraps it up, guys. Let me know what you guys think about all the stuff we covered in the comments down below. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos like these. If you have any content or news that you want to feature or share, hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. My name is Vincent Nguyen from The Creative Dojo, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys.